All right, so I'm going to be showing how to remove some of the keys on this uh, 2019 MacBook Pro model A2141. So this is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Um, I already removed these keys, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So I wet this little paper towel because they spilled some coffee in here. And I basically cleaned up the residue here. I got this cup with a tiny bit of water in it. So I basically dropped the little hinges and stuff into the water and then I just dried it off with a paper towel. If you do this, make sure you dry it completely. But you basically just get a paper and like do that. Make sure it's all dried so no water gets um, back into the computer. So right now I'm cleaning this up. There is some paper towel still stuck there. Okay, I'm gonna try and show the whole process here but basically I had to pull this hinge out. You can do this for almost all these little keys. Um, some of these keys are a little trickier like this one, the shift key and the space. I don't want to mess around with the keys that aren't broken because there is risk involved. So if you need to figure out how to do those, I'm sorry I won't be able to show a video on that. But uh, hopefully you'll be able to figure it out. This key is, for some reason it's like uneven. Let me see here what's going on. There we go. So I got that all lined up. Sorry, there we go. So when you put these keys back together, what you do, just make sure you have it the same way. So you put it this way, okay? So to get the key in place, you just slide the bottom ones under the metal clips here. Let's see, all right, like that. And then after you get that in, you kind of push this forward while you push this down. And you should be able to clip it. Actually, it might have to go the other way. So. Let's put the top end in first. I don't know if you can even see it, but like that, you wanna hook these these ones up here in place. All right, get those hooked in, and then you should be able to push that over. There we go, sorry if you didn't see that, but you push that over and it clips in place. So we cleaned this one. I don't know if I'll be able to show this on camera. I might need a tripod, but the little clips here, they're on the bottom half. As you can see, those clip onto it. The ones on top, they slide in. So to put the keys back in, you put the top piece first, slide it in, all right? And then you push that down and then it clips in place. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do these other two keys. The delete key also has this metal bar in there. So I'm actually, let me put that in so I can show you what it looks like. So this metal bar hooks in like this. Sorry, I don't have a good tripod to do this, but basically metal bar goes in like that. It just, there's actually just a hook there. It doesn't have like a little loop or anything. So I'm going to have to take this back out to show you. But here's the basic idea. You got the key in there. Okay. All right. So the key's in there. So what you do, if I can show this, let me see how, how I can do this actually. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to show this. Um, maybe from this angle. All right, well... Let's see what I can do here. So I need my little needle that has gone missing somewhere. Oh, here we go. It's stuck to the magnet on the bottom here. Okay, so what you do is you get underneath this key. I kind of, well, you can use the needle. I bent this needle to make it easier. If you can see, this needle has a bend in it. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to show this on camera, but... Basically, you get underneath the key here, and what you want is for the the thing to get underneath there. So I don't know how I'm going to show this. Um, let me get a tripod real quick. I'll be back, and let's see if I can have a tripod that's good enough to hold this. All right, I'm going to try to show this. I might drop, end up dropping my phone, but let's see. So basically, you pull this up. Underneath, there are the little clips. So... I get my, oh, you're not even gonna be able to see that because my hand. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna show this, but basically you get your tool in there. I don't know how I'm gonna show this. Let's move this around. Can I show it this way? I don't know if that's gonna help. Possibly, okay. So get the tool in there. It might help if you use like a thin pry tool, but basically you get the tool under there, lift up this side, so the metal bar is on that side. 
Most of them, they don't have the metal bar, but basically you get the tool, and now you see I'm getting the metal bar down. You wanna pull the metal bar down with the needle, just like this, okay. Now you got the metal bar out. Now you want to get the needle underneath the plastic hinge. So you get it in between, towards the center, not towards the front or the back. You wanna go to the center and then slide the tool. It pops it down, slide it. It'll pop both clips like that. So here you can see the clips go at these, sorry, at that those points right there. And that's what you're prying up. Then after that, you kind of wiggle this and it comes out. All right, so the same thing with all these little keys. The hinge goes up like that. You basically get the tool in the center between the two, like the top and the bottom here. And then you pull it forward so that you can pull the clips out from the sides here. So that's essentially, that's basically what you're doing. To remove these little hinge covers, because there is, the spill will usually get in there. I don't know if I can show this in camera, but basically in between the hinges, so you lift it up and then in between the hinges, get the tool and then you kind of pry it like this so here you can see it's pulling up the center pin so you have to kind of like push this plastic thing out at the same time so here it's kind of flexing it out of the way okay and then when the pin comes out then you can pull this separate all right so that's what you want you get both pieces after that you want to put the hinge back together I don't know if you'll be able to see this but put the little thing back in there you have to be very careful. If you break these little plastic things off, then you have to buy replacements. And I don't know if they sell replacements right now, but just like that, okay, you got that one in. And then this one, you have to do the same thing, kind of pull the plastic out and push the other one in. Just like that, okay, there you go. So now it's all lined up. But that's pretty much how you do that. And then you just basically put this back in. Let me show you with the camera now. Um, but I showed it earlier. Let's zoom out. To put it back in, if you see at the top of this, there's those little holes, these two holes. So that's what you line up first. I don't know if I'm getting it in camera, but you line that up. Once you get those two metal hooks in there up there, you can just push this back down. So let me wash this off real quick. You basically just throw it in the water like that. Just swirl it around. Sorry, let me zoom out so it's not so... Swirl it around. You can actually see the brown coffee thing is still in there. But uh, now let's fish it out. Sorry, this is not very good photo like quality, but you get the idea. Fish it out. All right. Dry it up. There we go. Dry it up just like this. Okay. Make sure it's all dried off. Okay, make sure it's flipped the right way. So when it's flipped the right way, it's flat. Make sure it's not like rotated. This thing can rotate on the hinge like this. So right now it's not flat as you can see. Sorry, so flip it that way. And then, yeah, you basically just line that up like that and push that down. I need to use the clean paper or the wet moist paper towel. Make sure it's not too wet. You don't want water getting in the computer. And then you can clean off the inside like this. And then you grab this, line it back up. Oops, sorry, line up that, get the two metal things in place. And once you get that in place, you can pull this down while you push it, just like that, like that. It clipped in place, All right? You can test it, it's holding. Then you grab the button. Make sure you also wash the button. So this one had coffee on it, but I cleaned it up. And then make sure the clips are on the bottom. So the way these clips are at the bottom. Okay, so like that. Put the top in first, just like this, and then push it down. All right, and that's pretty much how you do it. So I'm gonna have to do that with the backspace, but it's hard to do this while recording. So I'm gonna end the video there. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe so others can find this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Um, the space bar. It's very similar to the older models, I believe. There's a metal bar here and a metal bar here. The Delete one only had one metal bar. So if you want to see how to pop off those keys, I think I have a video showing it on the other one. It's very similar to the older style keyboard, um, not the new, the butterfly ones that people hated. All right, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.